It's always overwhelming when you're out there on the market looking for a new jacket for your outdoor expeditions, isn't it? Well, we've all been there, and some of us made the right decision, and some of us didn't. But when you're out for your expedition trips, proper choice of a jacket makes a difference. And as an experienced traveler, you should always be sure that you're making the right choice. Keeping that in mind, today in this video, we'll discuss hard shell versus soft shell jackets and how to choose one of them. So let's have a look at what hard shell jackets actually are, although you get the clue from its name. Anyways, construction wise, hard shell jackets are usually made of Gore Tex fabric. Some brands also came up with waterproof technologies like North Face's Future Light and Revolution Race's Hypershell. Well, the bottom line is that a hard shell jacket is that ultra light, weatherproof, and hooded jacket that provides you ultimate weather protection and maximum durability. Meanwhile, soft shell jackets are those flexible and stretchy jackets that provide you with maximum comfort. These jackets tend to be less stiff than hard shells, making them perfect to be worn as mid-layer under a hard shell jacket. Not only that, unlike the hard shell jackets, these are stretchy enough to provide you with the proper freedom of movement. You'll be protected from light drizzles and breezes with these soft shell jackets as well, which makes them versatile. As we know, hard shells are mainly made of Gore-Tex fabric. Those fabrics are usually tightly woven, so you won't get the best abrasion resistance on both surfaces. The material also provides complete storm protection, impressive waterproofing, and a small amount of breathability. So you'll be getting protection from not only rain, but the chilling cold wind as well, keeping yourself dry and comfortable in the roughest conditions. Waterproofing technologies don't stay limited to brands like the North Face, which comes with their Future Light technology that uses a nano-spinning process to provide you air permeability in a waterproof membrane. Then we have the Hypershell technology from the Revolution Race, which comes in different variants and provides a stretchy nature and breathability in a waterproof membrane. Soft shells, on the other hand, come with synthetic woven materials. These jackets usually boast polyester and nylon, making them stretchy and flexible. Not only that, unlike the hard shell jackets, their seams are not sealed. This means you'll be getting the maximum level of breathability. As we're familiar with both of their fabrics, let's take a quick look at these fabrics' core properties as well. While the hard shell jackets will back you up with proper weather protection because of their waterproof membrane that works like a charm against moisture, the soft shells also come with a water resistant finish. Still, the water resistance is close to nothing compared with hard shells. But that doesn't mean they won't provide you with other benefits. Unlike the hard shells, you'll be getting an excellent amount of breathability with the soft shell jackets. After a challenging mountain climbing experience, you'll want breathability along with proper insulation. Why? Because trust us, you'll never want to sweat heavily in those situations, as the heavy sweat can quickly freeze up and cause hypothermia. And a soft shell jacket will help you during those situations. For longer expedition trips, weight and packability matter, and both types of jackets will give you their perks. Usually hard shells are lighter in terms of weight. Not only that, these hard shells are very easy to provide a compact shape and stuff in your backpack, which makes them easier to carry. On the other hand, soft shells boast soft and comfortable fabrics to provide you with maximum comfort, but it comes with a drawback as well. The material is comparably bulkier, making it hard to stuff in and carry in your backpack.
Now, insulation is an essential aspect you should think of while buying a jacket. In that case, the soft shell will always be ahead of the hard shells. Why, you might ask? That's because just like the other base layers, a soft shell jacket's construction material gives you the perk of good insulation, but it'll also allow some of the heat and moisture to escape from your body. As a result, your body temperature will regulate properly during the demanding activities. Soft shells with down or fleece lining will help you fight the colder situations as well. Meanwhile, hard shell jackets are relatively thinner material for weather protection and compactness. And trust us, those materials are not the best for insulation. They're more likely to stop moisture from getting in and out, but some hard shells come with zippered vents around the armpits for a decent amount of breathability. When it comes to hard shells advantages, these jackets are made to protect you from the wrath of nature. It also gives you two benefits by being comparatively thinner. First is its compactness, which makes it perfect for packing and by folding it into a smaller space. Second is its lightweight design, making it easier to carry for extended expeditions, multi-day trail races, and hikes. Hard shells get another point by having the best durability. It has its advantages, but it also comes with some disadvantages. Its relatively thin materials aren't the best insulator, which means you won't be getting proper heat trapping facilities. Since it has adequately sealed seams, these jackets are insufficient in terms of breathability, but sometimes they offer zippered vents around the armpit for a bit of ventilation. Furthermore, their rigid fabrics will stop you from moving your limbs independently and feel cranky to wear. Now, as the hard shell's counterpart, soft shells are stretchier, making them comparatively more comfortable to wear. You'll be getting a maximum level of freedom while moving your limbs, which will provide you with extra support while rock climbing or hiking through steep terrains. They'll also provide an adequate amount of breathability, making them perfect as a base layer, as they trap and release your body heat and moisture according to your needs. Your body temperature will be well regulated. Furthermore, their fleece and down linings provide added insulation during colder conditions. These comfy and warm soft shells come with some disadvantages though. They usually come with a minor amount of water resistance, but compared to hard shells, this water resistance is non-existent. Windproofing of soft shells is also the same. They might provide small wind resistance, but aren't fully windproof. And to deliver you comfort and warmth, these jackets come with bulkier and heavier construction, making them comparatively harder to carry. Well, that almost brings us to the end. Now, if you want suggestions on which one you should get, then we would have to say, if you're going on a multi-day trip where there's a chance of rain, then you can take a hard shell with you. As they provide you with weather protection, lightweight design, and durability, you'll be having a great experience with a hard shell. On the other hand, the soft shell jacket will give you the best protection during your hiking, rock climbing, skiing, and all the other trips that include exhausting activities. You'll feel blessed with its bulky and comfy fabric on your expedition trips during the winter as they'll give you the proper warmth and insulation than the stylish mainstream jackets. And keep in mind that these stretchy and comfy soft shells can also provide you with dependable water resistance. This means you'll be well protected from drizzles and small amounts of snowfall as well. So that was our video on the difference between hard shell versus soft shell jackets. Thanks for watching our video. Hit the like button and share this video with your friends if you found it helpful.